Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Ticket. In today's video, what we're gonna do is we are gonna be taking a look at the brand new notifications on Samsung One UI 3 versus Samsung One UI 2.5 and older versions. So right over here, I have a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now this one is running One UI 3.0 Android 11. And this one right over here is running Android 10 One UI 2.0. Five. So let's dive in and take a look at all the new differences within the notification settings. In detail, let's dive in. So real quick, I'm going to go to the settings. I'm going to go into uh, About Phone. I'm going to tap on Software Information just to prove this is One UI 3.0 Public Beta Android 11. And if I go over here, if I go into my Software Information, you'll see One UI 2.5 Android 10. Now let's go back into the settings and I'm gonna go straight into the notifications option which is right here. And let's go to this one as well. Let's go into my notifications, okay? And you can right off the bat see the difference in these two panels. Now first and foremost, we have a little button here that says I. I can tap on this one and it's gonna give me some information regarding the changes in the notification. So it is saying when you pull down the panel, if you have any conversations, they're gonna show on the top. So if I pull this down, and if there were any conversations in Messages, Messenger, that would be bundled onto the top and it's gonna be named conversations. It would say conversations on the top and you're gonna see them bundled together. That makes a lot of sense. And also it talks about alerting and silent notifications. Again, uh, if I have notifications that actually alert me when I receive them, they're gonna appear under alerting notifications. If I have notifications under silent category, which I can set myself, they are gonna show up under silent. Also, uh, let me just pull this down. I'm gonna show you something as far as comparison. So when I pull this down, the entire screen now is has a white background with a translucent background. Here, again, if I pull this down, the bottom here stays black till I pull this down. When I pull this down, it's the same thing. But when I just pull down the notifications panel, now the whole screen is filled up and we don't have this black space at the bottom. I like this one much better. Additionally, when I get a notification, if I swipe over, okay, it's the same exact thing. I have two options. I can go to the settings for that particular notification. That looks the same, but when I tap on settings here, it goes into the app notifications. Here, I can make some changes right here. Again, I pull this down, I swipe over, I tap on settings, goes into the actual detailed menu. Here, I have access to a quick menu. Additionally, if I pull this down, and let me just show you one more thing that's important here. Let me uh, pull this down, swipe over and swipe over. Now, when I click on this one and click on this one, it's the same thing, okay? Just in case you're wondering, the fonts are a little bit different, okay? Now, let's go back into the actual settings. I'm gonna show you all the many changes happening inside that particular option. So, notifications. First and foremost, on the top, we've got the notification pop-up style. You can either get a brief notification when you get a text message, there's gonna be a pop-up on the top. It can either be very brief or you can have a lot of details. With this one, you don't have that option. Now, if I do go to brief, I also get some other options. These two options, so I can tap on which apps I wanna get a brief notification for. Don't have the option here, have the option here. If I go back and if I tap on brief pop-up settings, what I can now do is I can use the edge lighting style to apply to that notification. So if I tap on this one, you know, I got these various options. You're all familiar with this stuff, no problem. Now this presentation looks a little bit different than the other one. In the past, the edge lighting normally would sit under display, under uh, edge screen, and under edge lighting. And then from here you would choose what kind of edge lighting style you would need. Now they took it and they moved it over to the notifications. And again, let me tap it. That's what I'm talking about. That says, how are you? That is the brief pop-up notification. Right now that's in the brief mode instead of the detailed mode. Additionally, I can color by keyword. Don't have the option here, okay? Let me go back to notifications. So if I get a notification, I can tap on this color by keyboard a keyword 
and I can use certain keywords to change the color of that notification. So let's say I, I get notifications from somebody known as Sam. If I use the name Sam here and then click plus and then tap on this color icon, I can choose red. So when Sam sends me a message or if I get a message that has Sam keyword inside it, it's going to light up this way. Okay. Or that way, it's going to be up to you. You get a preview on the top. So that is absolutely great new way uh, to just, as it says right here, brighten up your notifications. So that's one option we have color by keyword for brief pop-up notifications. And it says also has one option show even while screen is off. All right. So that's one of the big changes. We have this additional menu on the top here. We don't. Now, when I swipe down a little bit, I have the recently sent notifications. I have the same thing here, no changes. It just shows you uh, what were the recently sent notifications and from what application it came from. If I tap on more, it expands. If I tap it again, it goes into the detail. The same thing happens here, okay? So if I tap on this one, it goes into the details. That's not a big deal. Let's go back and move on. Now, if you look over here, let's go back. Uh, on the top, you see a bunch of things you don't see over here anymore. So what they did was they took all these options and they put them under advanced settings. So when I tap on the advanced settings, I have this right here, suggest actions and replies. I have the app icon badges. I can go inside here, make a change. Looks the same almost, just a slight variation. Okay, but there is something here that is brand new. Number one, it's the notification history. Basically, this is a history of all the notifications I received for a period of time. So if I have missed anything, maybe I maybe I went in here, I had notifications, I tapped clear, everything was gone. Okay, so now I can come back here and see any notifications that I, I might have actually missed. They're going to show up in my notifications history. And the good news is, you can turn this off, okay? If you turn it off, it's gonna delete the current notification history. Until you turn on again, it's gonna start to record from the beginning. So that's one option. The other one is the conversations and the floating notifications. Now, if I tap on this one, now we have the bubbles option for floating notifications. We can also go to smart pop-up view that is Samsung's own version of notifications. However, uh, if I were to go over here, on 2.5, I have to go to advanced features and then I would have to actually access smart pop-up view right from here. Now I can uh, access it from the notifications. So things have been moved into the notifications that make sense to be there instead of having scattered all over the place in 2.5. So let's just keep it, keep this at bubbles or I can just turn that off and get no uh, floating stuff. Okay, it's all gonna be up to you. And then we have the conversations. Now, if, if there's any messages that I've actually changed the notification settings for, they're gonna show up right here. So that's also a brand new option. We do not have it under notifications here as well. Okay, and what else do we have here? We have the wireless emergency alerts. Not a big deal. We do have this option, notification reminders. If I go inside, I can tap on enable and what I can do is I can get periodic reminders about notifications from selected apps and services. So if I miss a notification, I can just get a reminder. I got a text message. I did not look at it. Every three minutes, I can get a vibration with the sound. All right. So that's been moved in here as well. So as you can see with One UI 3.0, we have things simply moved here with some new features. Everything now that is supposed to be here is in here when you think about notifications, including things like the um, edge lighting style, okay? So that was an in-depth look at the new notifications. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.